Hey guys, so we are on holiday today. Ollie, come here. Ollie's off today. His half term starts today. <laughs> <laughs> are you wearing that on holiday? <laughs> are you? He's hoping to take some uh, Halloween stuff because he doesn't know if it's going to be a bit Halloween themed. Because last holiday we went on this time of the year, they had a Halloween dress up thing, didn't they? Yeah. And they hadn't took their Halloween stuff. So to that, this time he wants to take some Halloween bits in case they do do like a Halloween dress up at the caravan park. So yeah, you're off today, aren't you anyway? But Cameron still has college and Liam's still at school. But luckily Cameron finishes at 12. He normally does on a Friday. And then we just have to wait on Liam. Liam gets out at three, which isn't bad at all. We're only heading off to Essex, so it should take about an hour and a half. I don't think you can even check in until four anyway, so we're not really missing out. But it means Ollie's been helping Daddy pack all his things, all the toys that he wants to take and stuff like that. Um, I've done my stuff. We've all done our own stuff. And then I'm just going through all the foods that I'm taking. I haven't yet pulled out any of the like fridge and freezer stuff. We do have like a, a cool bag, like a fridge bag. So later on, I'll get all that together. Um, but yeah, things like rice, I stick it all in a Ziploc bag. So it's just enough for one meal. And that way I'm not carrying excess stuff, just exactly what we need. I've got a massive tower of crisps. They will definitely get eaten because you know there's five of us. So Ollie, can you think of anything else we might need? Hmm. Orange chocolate? Orange chocolate, I think we'll probably need that. Anything else? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> anything else you'd like to take with us? No. No, just orange chocolate. We can live off that, can we? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Typical kid. <laughs> I think we should take some fruit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit healthy, you know. So yeah, my mum is down. She's house sitting and having the dog for us. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm not going in the ocean. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with the ocean? It's not clean. <laughs> oh my it's God. Not it's, and it's not in a pool. There is a pool there. You water snob. <laughs> I don't know why it's given us five minutes to get to I've the been center. going down saying, counting down the minutes of how long we're going to be there. It's so four I've minutes. <laughs> it's your four minute warning. Four minutes and we and shall be there. Here. And we're already here. So clearly this sat nav don't know what it's talking about. Because that's why I was a bit shocked that we were here. Because I just gave that five minute warning. Uh, Yay! How, which way are we going? Is what, that... Why? Why are you going in that way and there's just the road there? This is confusing my life. 102. Welcome to Nays Marine Holiday Park. Put all them seagulls. I saw four. <laughs> See, are they, are they waves? <laughs> I think they're waves. Ah. Good on This is us. Oh gosh, it's very muddy. A bit boggy. It is a bit boggy. Ready? I hope they've got like a little mat, otherwise we're going to be treading mud in. Oh, they do. Ooh. Looks nice and clean. Oh, it's got like a purple kitchen. That's so cute. Oh, the seagulls don't go again. Oh, I really liked the seagulls last time. Oh, this is a smaller caravan than the ones we've had before. But it's a very, very similar layout little fire, TV, and Ollie. Oh, really nice. Let's have a look then. This will be the bathroom. Yep. That's one bedroom. So there must be a sofa bed. And then this is the master. Turn the light on. Oh, look at the little, it's got a little stall down here for me to do my makeup. Yeah, cute. It's nice. <laughs> nice view. <laughs> Danny and Cameron coming back with the bags. So this side has a pathway and then this side doesn't. 
so we and our front door is this side how typical so we walk down and then we've walked across all the mud and treaded in loads of mud you can you can see there how how boggy it is out there so yeah we're going to end up treading a lot of mud in oh the amount of food that we need to come on holiday is a joke <laughs> Let me try and move you off a bit. Are you cleaning that floor, Isles? Yeah. You are such a good boy. Thank you. The bin I just put through there. Do not walk on the carpets with those shoes, okay? Where are you going, darling? Um, okay. If you can start putting things away, Liam, that'd be great. Yeah. So I'm cooking and because it's quite small, it's really, really warm. The problem is I have no saucepan lids and I have no sieve. So I don't know how I'm actually going to end up draining my rice. Hey babe. Two minute warning for the sieve. Two minute warning for the sieve. <laughs> Danny just went and spoke to him. They're bringing a sieve. Fantastic. Also what we didn't have was, um, because it's two bedrooms, so you have a double bed, a twin room and then there's like a pull out sofa we didn't have a duvet set or anything for whoever's sleeping in the front room so danny's gone up to reception what did they say about the duvet set uh, yeah no worries i bring one down there and i said oh if that's the case we ain't got a sieve I went, yeah no worries i said oh if you really want to be finicky the lids don't fit the pans <laughs> I went, all right we're gonna set up brand new pans down as well no they didn't they did seriously yeah. Well, there you go. Danny's already made friends with the neighbours. In your bag. Yeah. <laughs> he said, if I see you in the club, I stop buy you a drink. Yeah. I was like, wow, you really have made a friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you made yourself a drink, did you? I did make myself a drink because you said, what can I do for you, Helen? What can I do for you? And I said, oh, a vodka and coke would be nice. And then you buggered off, so I was like, oh, I'll make my own vodka and coke, will I? Yeah, but you was like, stand by your bed, stand by your beds. Oh, that's right, you haven't got a bed. Uh, <laughs> can you sort that one out? That's <laughs> glasses, yeah. Yeah, I moved them up there, because they were over here, and I thought it would make more sense if they were all together. Whenever I come into these caravans and stuff, or I always have a sort, don't I? You make it your own. I make it your own, and I make things more organised. Well, not more organised, but more organised to how I would organise. Like, why would you have some cups up here and then some cups over there? All cups should be kept together, in my opinion. Oh, have you said you ain't got a strainer? Yeah, I that's, that's a cheese grater. It ducks and overcome. <laughs> oh, oh, the previous <laughs> occupants have left us bits of cheese. Mmm, <laughs> yum. <laughs> yeah, I did I did rinse all this out before I used it. And when we're away, Danny does all the washing up for me, don't you babe? It's so good. You're cooking, of course I'm gonna do it. I cook at home but you don't do it. Yeah we've got a dishwasher and three kids. <laughs> Where's the um alcohol? Oh it's in this cupboard. See how I'm guarding it then. It's not very well organised. <laughs> Actually, I think Liam put it in there, bless his heart. Good luck. Amazing when you cook away from home because you just like, you do really adapt. But I am glad I bought my big pot because there's no way I would have been able to cook with those three little pots. <laughs> should, we, should we do an unboxing? They've come got with treasures. <laughs> God, oh. that's a really big pan as well. Yeah. See, that one would have been much better. They have as well. But you don't come with cheese. Like <laughs> it. What's he like? I'm betting. So, so far, I have to say, really well with, like, providing what we need. Isn't that really nice of them? <gasps> We've got spare bin liners if we open them up really carefully. We do need spare bin liners. That's one thing I did forget to bring because they always give you one and that's it. Yeah. That needs rinsing as well. I'm really impressed with these pots because normally you get tiny ones and this one's huge. 
That one's massive. I could have done with that one before I started cooking. Because right. <laughs> I've got rice in two pots. And that one would have been perfect. So after a night of dancing, we are ready to sit down and have our breakfast. <laughs> Still got some sleepy ones. It's early, isn't it? Mm. Come then, let's have breakfast. Oh my gosh, we've come into town. That, that there is the little police station. Look at that! It's like a little house just in a normal street. This town is tiny. We love a charity shop. Oh, what you found? Spaceship. <laughs> Look at this little house. It's so cute. <laughs> we just come back from Tan and uh, I got this out of one of the charity shops. You can't really see it. I'll have to pull it out later to show you. And then Cameron got some extra and then we also went into Aldi. Oh, we needed bread juice and also we wanted to pick up some pizzas because when we come in after the clubhouse last night we had a bit of toast but we thought well, wouldn't it be nice to have a pizza so we got some pizzas for tonight and tomorrow night got some juice because the kids had gone out and they had so many red labels didn't they Danny oh, yeah. more than we normally have oh yeah in our in our store so I got two loaves of bread and I picked these Italian style meatball kits with the labels and they've got a freezer here so I'm going to chuck them in the freezer. I got some of this sandwich chicken so we can have sandwiches and then Liam wanted oranges. Liam loves an orange. Liam got these shoes, Clarks, and they look like almost new don't they? Yeah. And they fit in really well. Mm -hmm. £2.50 bargain. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we're going to have some lunch and then we're going swimming. Twenty-five points. Twenty-five points. That can help you, you never know. Fifty points. Fifty points. One hundred points. Okay, hundred points locked into the yellow side. You can't buzz in anymore. Sixty points. Sixty points. Red side. You've got to try and beat. Forty-five points. Forty-five. 175 points. 175 blocks into the mix. Points. Oh, they do that 300 if you hold on. 150. 150. Is there any more? Oh, yeah. Well done. Give these guys a big round of applause. Well done, right. That's all you've done then, see, Don't go anywhere. You do get yourself. That's it, love. You missed out. You were just, yeah, having a lovely time looking at the screen. <laughs> there we go. You give yourself a lovely fix back here. Well done. Thank you very much for playing. Give me a big round of applause. Okay, so there we go, that is hold your bed. Danny and the older two boys are currently swimming and me and Ollie are in the caravan. Ollie's just in the bedroom, he's on technology. Uh, we did actually go swimming this morning. We we paid to do this, it's like an inflatable thing. It was £5 a person, very much worth it. And there's a massive inflatable assault course where you like race. <laughs> um, it was really, really fun. The kids really, really enjoyed it. So we all did that this morning, come home, had lunch, and then the older two wanted to go swimming again. And Ollie was like, I don't really want to go swimming again. So I said, oh, we'll just, we'll just chill out at the caravan. So yeah, <laughs> this, the boys love to swim. I have to say the pool is on the smaller side if I was going to give this place a review, but it is very, very warm. Normally when we go to these light sites, the water's freezing, but this water is actually particularly really, really warm. Um, I'm going to start dinner so when they come home, we can get tucked in and then get ready for our evening entertainment. Um, it's a really lovely site, but it's small if you know what I mean. It's clean, it's peaceful everyone that we've sort of encountered is really really lovely but it is it is on the smaller side but we are having a great time and uh 
I think we'd definitely come back again, but maybe in the summer when you can have a proper beach day. Although we've been very blessed with the weather, I have to say. It's not rained. If you can see, it is quite bright. It's not particularly cold. It's just not particularly warm either. But then it's October, so what do you expect? So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna start dinner. Have our little chicken mini roast. Cooking dinner in a caravan takes so much longer, doesn't it? Because the cookers are run by the gas bottles, so it's not as like, quick as like the mains. But... Um, we're saving a fortune cooking from cooking from home. So tomorrow is our last day. When you go on these weekends away, they go so so fast. I think we need to be out of out of here by 10 a.m. and then we're hoping to do the pier tomorrow. Um, so that that should be fun. It's got like a fun fair inside. You pay for like the wristbands. And I, I remember going on that when I was younger. I'll tell you what I do need, Danny, for the next holiday. I need a little portable mirror that I can move around easily. Because <laughs> yeah. inside there it's so dark, can't even see what I'm doing. We're getting ready for our last night. Yeah, we need to go away for seven days this time, don't we? Do you think? Yes, we, do. we ain't getting that on a sun holiday. It goes so fast. Liam, how have you enjoyed it? Wonderful. Oh, come here and tell me about it. How's your holiday been? Wonderful. <laughs> What's been your favourite bit? Um, I don't know. You like the swimming? Yeah. Did you enjoy the assault course earlier? Yeah. It's a shame I couldn't record that. Mm. It's a shame I couldn't record it when Dad and Cameron was racing. Because Dad cheated, did you see him? Um, not really, no. If I asked Cameron, he'd soon tell you about it. <laughs> Dad pushed him off so he wouldn't lose. <laughs> Didn't you, Daddy? Yeah, really. <laughs> He's a minute. So is he right. Go back with your technology. <laughs> what are you on? It's playing Angry Birds. The boys like it because they get free Wi Fi in the clubhouse, isn't it, Cameron? Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying about when you and Dad were racing on that assault course and Dad pushed you off. Cheer. Cheer. Nine fifty-seven, and we are just leaving. We have just made it in time. Checkouts at ten. Oh, <laughs> I feel like it's a bit like the cube. <laughs> it has rained all night, and out, it's been beautiful all weekend, doesn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. We've been so lucky, and then all night it's been pouring down. So outside, you can't really see. It, it's like a river out there. Bless Danny's been taking all the bags to the car this morning, getting absolute soaked. Um, we did want to do the, the pier today. Do you guys want to do the pier? It's inside, don't worry, it's not outside. Yeah. Are you all ready to go? Yeah. It's a bit rusty because it's been like that a long time, Liam. It's the exact same as I remember it when I was Ollie's age. Honestly, this beach is absolutely beautiful though. It's a really nice sandy beach. And up here. Wow. I think it's open. I, well, I think they, it, this place has been broken but they it's need to replace broken. it with the exact same metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lucky one. It's been destroyed like that. See? Let's go have a look. So I think because we're kind of out of season at this point, the inside of the pier, like the fun fair part, that wasn't open. But the arcade was, but we don't really like to spend money in the arcades. It just gets far too expensive. But it's just as I remember it, pretty much all the rides were the same, even the waltzes and the ghost train.
<laughs> Let me take a picture. It's such a shame about the weather, but. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, can you see that? <laughs> Cameron. Cameron's scared of heights. What do you think about the gaps? Can you see the sea down there? It's scary out. It's not scary. It's safe. It wouldn't be like it wouldn't be here if it wasn't safe. They wouldn't let us down if it weren't safe. Wow. The way he's walking, love his little heart. <laughs> the gaps are getting bigger. Honestly, look. That's the sea down there. <laughs> You're not looking down. Just keep looking up. <laughs> These two are so brave. Are you scared? No, nah, not really. <laughs> kind of. Ollie's so scared, love his little art. Because uh, the, the gaps are getting quite big, aren't they? Yeah. And the wood is, it... is a bit chipped. It's yeah. Old. Well, down there, I think it's new wood. This is older wood. Yeah. So it's a bit rickety. <laughs> oh, how funny. Cameron's so brave. Look at him go. He's all the way down there. It's so windy. Tell him what Ollie said to you. Uh, I was coming up and said, turn around. I can hear him. He's like some horror movie. Turn around. Don't go that way. <laughs> Save yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby. Donkey, donkey. I like the skills.
have a go. I didn't have a go. I didn't have a go. You've got two strikes. Get one more and you get turkey. So I have been home um, a few days now and I've just come on to end the weekend vlog. Thinking back, like, because I've been editing and stuff, we had such an amazing time. I would definitely want to go back, but in um, the warmer months because that beach, Walton on the Nose Beach, is stunning. Such a beautiful sandy beach. And I hope that next time we go, the pier would be open, like all the fun fair bits. Because I did look and they charge £10 for a wristband. And that's for like unlimited use of the rides. Um, it's just a shame that even when I was vlogging it, you couldn't really just see all the rides because it was all in darkness when usually it's very lit up. But we still had a great time. I did get catch a bit of a cold. I don't know if it's because on the last day it was raining we was walking around on the pier. But um, I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. The bowling, I have to say, was really good value. It was 19.95 for up to six people for an hour, and you can have as many games as you can fit in that hour. So that was a really good deal, because we have a bowling alley down the road from us, and that is very expensive for us to go bowling as a family. Um, what else? Yeah, it was just a beautiful place. Like I said in the vlog, on the smaller side, but the people were so friendly there. The evening entertainment, their entertainers that they have on site are better than the ones that they bring in. And usually that's the other way around. Usually, like the red coats, if you know what I mean, or whatever, their own entertainers are usually a bit shyer and then they rely heavily on the entertainers that they bring in. Whereas this site was completely different. There was one bloke, I remember his name was Ryan. He was an amazing entertainer. He really made the evening entertainment. He was really bubbly, getting up and doing the dances with the kids. Um, so yeah, he was fantastic. He was absolutely amazing. Me and Danny do love to dance and we do love our evening entertainment. We were up there doing the get up. We were the only like two adults doing it, if you know what I mean. But we love to dance and uh, yeah, and he was kind of looking like, wow, because you've got Danny in his 40s, in his mid-40s, me in my mid-30s, and we're up there doing, like, <laughs> dances that even the young teenies don't know, do you know what I mean? It was funny. But I did practice, I did practice. It's just really good to go away. It's good for mine and Danny's relationship. It really builds our relationship and makes that strong. It's the same with us and the kids. We really get to take the kids out of their normal environment of being at home, like now. They're all upstairs in their rooms, you know what I mean? Whereas when you're away and you're all swimming together and it just really, really strengthens our relationships as a family. I really do believe that. So yeah, we had an amazing time. Um, since we've been back, my mum actually went home today. Me and my mum's gone bingo this week and we won, which is, we never win. I've never won at bingo. My mum has this theory where we have our uh, bingo cards and she says, do not leave the bingo cards on the table, it's unlucky. So we never leave them on. So, um, yeah, and we never win. So I left my bingo card on the table and I won. It was £20, but I had to share it between so many people. So I ended up with £6.67. I don't know how they figured that out. <laughs> and I was like, I won and I left my card on the table, mum. See, you should leave your card on the table. So I took her bingo card and I put it on the table. Guess what? She won £115. What a result. And she gave me half of it, because we always go halvesies. So, but she told me to keep my free quid. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. But yeah, she won £115 anyway. And we split that. So I've got that in my purse. So I don't know what I'm going to spend that on. I'll find something. I might put it away for when me and Sherry do our sale shopping after Christmas. Because I'll be able to get myself something nice for that. But yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm just 
talking for the sake of it now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.